from the creator of the one-click damage plugin, comes a new and just as good add-in. It's called Cracker, and it makes creating cracked surfaces a breeze. Unlike his other plugin which creates damaged edges, this one is all about creating damage and cracks along the surface area of an object. Combine them together, and you have something really powerful for creating decayed environments and scenes. Cracker is a plugin or add-in for Blender. It just costs a measly $12 which makes it affordable for everyone. If you're ever done environments or larger scenes, you probably know how hard and time-consuming it can get to create wear and tear. Creating crack objects have been one of the hardest challenges for me personally. I never could get them looking good in Blender no matter what I did. I think one of the biggest reasons for this was because I tried to do it with normal maps or decals, so I never actually touched the geometry of an object. With Cracker, however, you change the mesh of an object. Meaning this plugin will permanently change the topology, so make sure to create backups of everything before you go crazy with Cracker. The Cracker add-on for Blender is built in a very intuitive way. Creating cracks and controlling the size, spread, and appearance is very easy. Select your desired object, press Ctrl plus W, and you got your first crack. Let's take a look at some of the nifty features I enjoy the most about the Cracker plugin. Creating a crack is instant and works from every view, orthographic or perspective, whatever you like. Having this instant visual feedback is nice for someone like me who prefers to work in real time more than anything else. By scrolling your mouse wheel you can easily adjust the number of details in each crack. Are you going for something low poly? No problem, just scroll a few times to decrease the number of polygons used. There are also hotkeys for adjusting the amount of noise, width, bending, and displacement. The Cracker add-on for Blender is a 5 out of 5 for me. The price and the functionality make it hard to find any negatives. But if I had to be picky, it's the fact that creating the cracks will permanently change the mesh, meaning you can never revert back to the old version unless you did a backup. Other than that, I cannot complain. I will be using the plugin for several of my upcoming renders too, so be on the lookup for that.